Hey everybody, it's Carolyn Burnett with Sound of Lexington, and I'm here with uh, Susan Hughes sitting next to me, Taylor Hughes' mom. And right now we've got with us uh, Cosmic Bliss Returns. Woo! It's Tristan and Ted, and we've got Joel over here and Aaron to talk to him. Say hi guys. Hello hi guys. guys. Hello! <laughs> Well, I guess we'll kick things off here. Uh, Ted, Tristan, thank you guys for being with us here on this lovely Saturday afternoon. Uh, so, tell, tell us a little bit here. Cos Cosmic Bliss possibly returns. What, what, where'd the name come from? What's, what's the right, story? All right, man. Well, uh, you know, a couple of years ago. How, how long ago was that, man? Tom just flies, bro. Two I don't, years, bro. Two years, apparently, parenthetically. Uh, we were in a band called Cosmic Bliss and Other Revelations, so once that had ended and we, I moved on and made a couple more tracks and stuff, I was like, well, man, I guess I'll be Cosmic Bliss Returns, returning from what I do not know yet. If you could help me out, that would be awesome. Well, we'll try our best to help okay, you out. Okay, thank, so thank, thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. All right, well, well, hopefully you'd be returning to Lexington sometime soon. Oh, so yeah, dude, for you, sure. You it's one of my favorite towns in the state, for Wonderful. sure. Wonderful. For Shantae. Shantae, <laughs> Shantae. I'm going to have to start using that. Uh, dude, go right. No, it's trademarked to uh, use at will. I appreciate it. So, <laughs> so uh, you guys are from Danville originally? I am from Danville. Okay. Now, this boy right here. He's from Chicago. Ah, I got City Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the cool. Very nice. Yeah. So, uh, you guys tour around the Kentucky area mostly, or you guys uh, been North Carolina? Carolina? We've been known to go to Asheville. Oh, okay, cool. Good town up there. Is there a good scene out in Asheville, North Carolina? Oh, Canada? man, dude. It's incredible. Good. How's oh. it compared down here to Lexington? Oh, my God. Look, yeah, man, dude, look, like, Lexington uh, is love. <laughs> but Asheville is like a manifestation of whatever you think is love because you will. I mean, you will find yourself real quick. Yeah, they real call quick. it like East Coast Cali type. Yeah. It's, it's okay. a, or mini San Fran. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Well, hopefully it's a great city. City. Very Music musically city. spiritual, for sure. Excellent. Well, maybe we can take some notes down here in Lexington here. Yeah. But um, so uh, for you guys here, you guys did a couple songs for us today. Um, we tried to. Tried to. I'd say you did. I'd yeah. say you did. But um, you guys have a really cool, energetic, uh, acoustic kind of sound. Is it mostly just the two of you guys working together? For this yeah, we as of now, now, yeah. We we had we used to play in a band together, a group of singer songwriters, and we came together. And uh, we didn't have a drummer, so I said, "How hard would this be?" I just grabbed this box and <laughs> slapped it around a little bit. Right. And uh, he's a box slapper. <laughs> and, we can cut uh, that in post, don't worry. Man. <laughs> but uh, so you know, we we got back together recently, and was like, "Man, we should just go touring." And we've been going to. Uh, we just started going to Asheville, and I'd like to go up to Chicago and come back down. I'd like to go, I'd like to travel everywhere and play. But we're just now getting getting us lifted off the ground, and we really appreciate this opportunity For they sure. gave us to come in here and jam with you guys. Oh, we're definitely glad to have you guys out here. It's been a privilege to listen to y'all play. Um, so, uh, Tristan here, maybe you can enlighten me a little bit. Um, you have this, this cool, cool... Uh, different sort of sound where you, you start out with your, your singing, songwriting stylistics, and then you sort of bring it into the, I call it the preacher talk a little bit there. You really deliver that, uh, some of those lyrics in more I deliver a message, yes. <laughs> Good. Now what message that could be is up to you. He and lives song. every song. Oh, I got you. Cool. So what would you say your inspiration is when you when you try to write a song or put it together? Is it just uh, put well, yourself in the cosmic well, light in the right oh, way? Well, now you just opened up a book. <laughs> but, uh, I'd rather you talk than me, so that's okay. Okay, well, dude, uh, you shouldn't because I, I might keep talking. <laughs> uh, honestly, dude, like, when it comes to making music, uh, I've been inspired by all kinds of different things. Like, I mean, you know, maybe this sunny day over here got me lit. Or maybe that bourbon got me lit. Or maybe Asheville, North Carolina got me lit. I always do it as a perceptional energy phase. So whatever like I'm doing at the time, the mood, the mind, you know, everything, you know, universally connects together. I go from that point and then I expand on it. And if that makes no sense, I could probably agree with you. <laughs> but at the same time, music is 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 kind of like my religion, kind of. I mean, I you know I don't want to disrespect anybody or anything, but you when it comes to, when it comes <laughs> when it comes down when it comes down to it, man, the sound that I make is is just coming from my soul. 
if you want to get, if you want to get, I mean, you you went there. I did, I did, and that's exactly what I asked for, and I think you nailed it to a T, man. But uh, for the music being the universal language and all that good stuff, I, I think a lot of guys, and or not just guys, but guys and girls could relate. We've got a lot of cool things in the music scene around here. It seems like, a, from the folks I've talked to anyway, there's a lot of, a lot of desire for an honest sound, an honest delivery, an honest message, and you guys clearly take that to heart. Um, is is there um, more to it? I got this little bit. You mentioned that either it's the bourbon that gets you lit, but I also caught a little bit of the, <laughs> the political scene getting you guys a little amped up and that kind of thing. Obviously, these are sort of heated times. Not to get too far into that, but yeah. do you draw from uh, current events? We'll say a lot of his music. Of music. His music reminds me of the heuristic events in, in his life. It also reminds me of earlier, uh, easier times when things. We're smooth. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what I feel. Super when I, smooth. When I play to his music, I just kind of close my eyes and, you know, feel it. Feel what he's feeling. Or at least try it. Yeah, no, I have my, you know, I have my barriers. Like, I don't want to get Right, right. Everybody's got uh, that level. Yeah. You just got, you, I mean, you just capture a wave and you ride it. You know, yeah, man. And, then, uh, and honestly, dude, like, I give a shout out to Mike Campbell right now because that is my dude, the guy that plays lead guitar for Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, dude. That's who got me started playing guitar, so I had to shout it out. Excellent, excellent. Yeah. So, what are your uh, some of your other influences besides? Uh, the well, I mean, it's apparent that Bob Dylan is. Like, <laughs> I got I mean, some of that vibe from. No, from dude, and dude, well, always. It's not even in the hair, dude. Just how I walked up the steps, I was like. I'm positively 4th Street, motherfucker. <laughs> Anyways. We'll bleep that out. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know we was bleeping out or nothing. No one said nothing. Sure, we'll much. <laughs> We're still working on the etiquette factor, man. Like okay, that. well, uh, <laughs> wish I would have known. No, there's nothing to know. What about you, Ted? In inspiration? Yeah, music-wise. Where do you drop it? Wow. Uh, well, I... All my music that, that I play, which you haven't heard, other than what we've played... Uh, the inspiration for me to play percussions with him was a group of singer-songwriters got together and we didn't have percussionists, so I just figured I'd close my eyes and be a human and make some sounds, you know. But uh, as my music, my emotions uh, pertaining to music in general is, comes from uh, just things I've, struggles I've gone through and uh, conquered, and I'm just trying to get that information out in the world, share it, and... I just feel like it's my duty, so that's what we're doing, man. We're traveling and jamming. Excellent. Definitely appreciate the energy we get from you guys. And hey, hey, look who's here. Somebody come to visit you all. Taylor? <laughs> How yeah. goes it? Yeah. Yeah. She's, she's going to be coming up next, y'all. Huh. I'll set up. <laughs> yeah, that's right. See, her cousins make the room look better already. Absolutely. <laughs> For Shantae. For sure. <laughs> okay, there you go. Okay, so we're really, really glad to have you guys with us here today. And uh, we want to have you come back again. Definitely. Yeah. And we're really excited about your music. It was awesome. It was great. We really appreciate that to the heart and soul. Yeah, well, we appreciate it too. Thank right you to guys the face. so much. Right to the face. Give it up for Cosmic Bliss one more Thank time. You. Check them out, guys. Thank Thank you. Hello, guys. Live long. <laughs> Till now.